Hi, this is Johan from Minerva. Uh, it's been a while since my since my last uh, video, and this video would be about AML Studio. I'm sure I already done uh, videos about AML Studio before the new release that we've had on June 26. Um, so this solution developed by Eric Donker uh, is a uh, utility a predictive tool, productivity tool for RS Innovator. Uh, he started to develop it after he went to the first RS meeting, uh, RS training, um, and he had to work with this interface, which is called the Nash. It's the, the query uh, client that you use sometimes to test some queries uh, with the RS Innovator. So when he um, used that, he started to work on the first version. Um, and the one that we've used quite a lot was the version 1.2 where you had the capability to uh, enter your um, RS Innovator uh, instance information and then you were able to enter the AML with um, IntelliSense uh, which was auto-completing your code or it was telling you which, uh, for example, which property you could ask for uh, in your um, in your queries because it was looking at what was available in the database. Uh, now with the version 2 that has been released on June 26, he has changed the technology uh, and so you can now have tabs to, for example, um, Let's see if I can connect to this instance. Uh, you can use tabs to save your queries, uh, which is a nice improvement. And so you can run it just as the, the same way you were running it with the, the old version as a, a standalone application. Uh, and so you run, for example, this is my last, the last uh, query I put. I click submit and I have the answer here. So this is running as a standalone application, but the other cool thing that is uh, that he has done is that now it is you can embed it inside RS Invader. So that's what I did on this on my instance. If I log if I log on um, RS Invader, <coughs> now once you've um, added the tree code to your RS Innovator install and um, import package. You have a new action here called Launch AML Studio, and it uh, creates a new uh, IE window where you can enter the queries and, uh, and and run them uh, through this application. Uh, the main improvement is that you don't have to download the solution before or the the, the AML Studio application before. So if you switch from one computer to another, you just have to reach RS Innovator and uh, find the action uh, in uh, in the solution. Um, regarding the the query interface, it's pretty much I think it's pretty much the same um, features. There might be a, a little bit more things like I'm not I don't remember if item was directly entered, but for example, you have more things entered, uh, actions, then I open the quotes, uh, I have all the pa all the, the item types available, uh, I look for, uh, so action get type, uh, let's say power of projects, Oops. Yeah, that might be projects and that will list uh, the project and then you can have you can add the uh, relationships etc and it will guide you through all the available uh, items that's a pretty nice uh, improvement uh, with this version um, another thing that is still and I'm repeating it uh, every time I do a presentation about the MSU or every time I, pr I present MSU to any customer or any prospect it's the documentation you have on his website, on his Codeplex page, where he has been adding a lot of information about the queries you can run um, for RS Innovator. And that's, that's really one of the main places I would go.
whenever I have to do some um, work on some queries for either development or, or uh, reporting, I go there and, for example, get structured browser data. Uh, I have I have all the the um, main method or actions you need to use to get uh, the, the information you want. That's that's uh, a very good uh, source of information.